my channel thank you for coming back thank you for your support i really appreciate you much god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video dear beautiful friends today's video is going to be very very interesting you're going to learn a lot of things from this video you know i've been doing videos telling you to shine your eyes so today's video is one of those videos that will make you shine your eyes and especially if you are a black woman interested in white men interested in getting married to a white man so you might be on online dating apps searching or you are just not on online dating apps in real life and maybe you expect to get married to a white man wherever part of the world you are <laughs> important you are a black woman and you want to get married to a white man this video will help you so much to shine your eyes so that you don't fall into the hands of the wrong man guys you know i'm always honest with you i am tired of crying you don't know what goes on behind you know <laughs> the camera <laughs> the girls that i chat with there are so many black women that got married to wrong white men and as i'm talking right now they are suffering they cry every day and because they're going through a lot so they come to me talk to me cry and of course i have to cry with them because the situation is not good guys it's not good but when i talk to these ladies i always analyze where they did the mistake and through those mistakes that they did in the past which put them in the situation they are in right now it is where our video will be coming from so that you guys don't make the same mistakes so our today's video is the important things you need to be careful about before you get married to a white man guys if you know you are my subscriber you always watch my videos i don't want you to be here every time that i upload you are here to watch the videos so that you can learn one or two things and then find a white man make these mistakes and again it's the same story that we have to sit down and cry due to the mistakes that you did and then you're like but i am bella's subscriber why is that bella never did a video like this i don't want that to happen that is why i am here guys to help you that is my intention if i don't tell you these things what's the meaning of me being here there is no sense so without wasting much of your time let us start our video right now so number one thing that you should be very careful about if you want to get married to a white man whether you are on online dating apps searching for a white man or it is just in real life <laughs> but you're interested in interracial marriage you're interested in that white man <laughs> to be your husband please when you start chatting if you are on online dating apps you're chatting with a white guy and he seems very very good very serious or it is just in real life you come across a white guy he is interested in you i've been advising you don't rush to get married so that time of getting to know each other is crucial you should take your time you should observe everything make sure that you are convinced you are satisfied with this man before you get married get to know what kind of a relationship this white guy has with his mother it's okay for a guy to love his mother very much you know mother's love no one can ever take a place of his mother but who makes the decision in the life of this guy that you're chatting to is it the mother or the guy loves his mother very very much but he can make his own decisions it's very very important because if you're going to chat with a white guy whether online or in real life and then <laughs> this white guy 
does not make his own decisions. He depends on his mother, mama's boys. <laughs> I've been talking of this. So he listens to his mother in everything that he does. Funny enough, maybe the guy is in his 40s or even in his 50s, but still, but still telling you my mother this, my mother that, and depends on the mother to make his own decisions. When you see that, please run. Run before it's too late. You won't be able to fix that. You won't. No matter what you do, you won't. And if you tell yourself, maybe I'm going to continue the relationship with this guy and change this relationship, make sure the guy makes his own decisions, I'm telling you, you will fail. It won't happen. You're going to look bad. These two are going to collaborate against you. <laughs> These things have been happening, guys. <laughs> So I have experience on this <laughs> by helping other ladies that are going through this same thing that I'm talking about. They are married to white guys. They are going to make your life very, very difficult. Imagine getting married to a guy and then it's the mother who will decide how many kids you should have. <laughs> and when you have kids, how you should take care of those kids. You are a mother to these kids, but who will control these kids? Who will say, do this, do that, as in a controlling way, is the mother of your husband, that's not right. Because if someone starts controlling you like that, on how to parent your kids, on how to take care of your kids, that means that it will even make your husband see you as a bad mother see you as a woman who doesn't know how to take care of kids but it's this person in between which is the mother <laughs> yes i can understand when you give birth you are a new mom you have got a lot of things to learn but not someone controlling you someone should just advise you you know give you one or two advice and because you're a mother you see if you should apply them or not but not someone pushing you not someone controlling you like a little kid while you are a wife while you have your own family <laughs> so run away from guys that are mama's boys and these mothers are the ones who makes the decisions of their kids you are going to be blamed for everything due to their collaboration <laughs> so it will be you all the time asking for forgiveness all the time asking for forgiveness i told you your life will be hell so it's better to run before you get married to this guy if you see this run my dear black woman so thing number two to all beautiful black women that are interested in getting married to white men whether you are on online dating apps or even in real life watch the red flags i've been singing of this for so long i'll keep singing because no matter how i do these videos but still i see some ladies coming to ask some questions from me of the videos that i did or of the things that i have talked about already so i'm repeating guys watch the red flags be very very careful on this even a thing that you consider very small small like this don't ignore it don't when you are still dating not married yet you should be very careful i've said when you're still dating that moment is very crucial it's the moment that you need to observe everything because if you ignore just one thing and you think that oh maybe he's gonna change oh maybe it's because we are far away that's why all this is happening that's not the reason something is wrong my dear sister i know a lady actually guys i'm going to be giving you a story not now but there is a story coming of this lady that met a devil it's a white man they met online but this guy is a devil and when i tell you that story you are going to agree with me that the guy is a devil so as talking to this lady i came to find out that these people used to fight a lot before getting married. They used to fight all the time fighting. And when the lady could ask that, why are we fighting like this? 
how is our life going to be if we continue fighting like this the guy was like no don't worry we are fighting because of the distance the long distance relationship is not easy so that is why we are fighting when we get married these fights won't be there anymore but <laughs> that was the mistake guys she ignored and she was like yes i think it's the distance <laughs> everything is gonna change but i'm telling you the situation has worsened after getting married it has worsened so what i'm asking you don't ignore the red flags you are my subscriber i don't want you to watch my videos ignore the red flags and then when things goes bad you come to me talk to me when i ask and you tell me i am your subscriber it will hurt me so bad <laughs> yes so please don't ignore the red flags another thing i would like you to be very careful about i talked of this but actually recently there is a lady who asked me again about this i've been watching your videos but i've never heard you talking about this thing maybe i missed that video <laughs> but the thing is i talk of these things as in not a topic as a whole but i give them as points so if you follow the thumbnail it will be very hard for you to know if i talked about such kind of a thing so this will be all about the goodies part <laughs> so guys i'm going to be talking about the goodies if you are my subscriber you always watch my videos you will know what goodies are <laughs> okay so white men have got weird weird fantasies when it comes to taking the goodies i'm calling them weird because we are black women and some of these fantasies in our culture african culture they are considered as an abomination <laughs> yes but to white men it's very normal so i know some guys have been asking for nude photos sometimes they tell you stay naked on camera you know talk of the things that are not even important but what i'm advising you if you start chatting with a guy you start chatting with a guy you click you vibe there is chemistry between you you are free around each other please please try to ask this guy on this topic of the goodies not in a way that the guy will see you maybe you want to show him your body <laughs> no not in that way but in a way that you will have to understand what are the fantasies of this guy that you are dating or you are about to marry are it's very very important these people have got weird 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 fantasies things have been happening to an extent when these ladies approach me and tell me these things they are married already i even shake get scared <laughs> of these things it's so so scary to a black woman i'm telling you it's scary so ask this guy get to know his fantasies when it comes to take the goodies so that you know if you'll be able to do with him those fantasies or you won't be able to do them because if you don't ask everything goes well you get married and the moment of taking the goodies comes <laughs> this guy brings his fantasies hey you will want to run that same day and it won't be possible because you are married already that will be very very hard for you you will have ruined your life by yourself by ignoring not asking the guy's fantasies we are from different cultures so you should ask him <laughs> I'm going to be giving you some of the examples of these fantasies. You can chat with a guy, everything goes very, very well. And if he marries you, you come to find out that he has got these fantasies of taking the goodies. But when you are three, I hope you understand me. So this second woman might be any woman. <laughs> can be those who stand in streets can be any woman that you don't even know but it is his fantasy he likes to do it 
when you are three and maybe he cannot change that it's the way that he wants to live his life forever so your goodies won't be the private thing that you do between you and him but with a stranger will you be able to accept such kind of a thing forever if not then at that moment you tell the guy you know what no <laughs> you're not for me it's not our culture that is not how i think things should be so you tell him ciao ciao <laughs> yeah but it's important you ask please i insist take this from me ask you are on online dating apps ask you met a guy maybe in africa wherever part of the world you are you are still dating ask about his fantasies when it comes to take the goodies it's very very important thing number three that is very very important you know before you get married to a white man especially you black women that are interested in marrying a white man maybe you are on online dating apps searching or you are there any part of the world in real life expecting to get married to a white man or maybe you are already in a relationship and you're about to get married to a white man please my dear beautiful sisters i have to save you <laughs> you're my sisters i have to save you before it's too late <laughs> you should know your rights as a woman i told you last time you are beautiful you are worthy you should love yourself you should be confident never allow a man to step on you never allow a man to put your self-esteem down i'm telling you if you are dating a white man or you're about to date a white man you should make sure you know your rights you should make sure you stand on your grounds it will help you very very much and if a man starts seeing that while dating you he will treat you with respect he will know that he can't just play you that is why you find that you are on online dating apps you chat with a guy and after a few time he disappears do you know why some of you complain that they are running but maybe these guys find out that you are too much for them you are too clever <laughs> they can't handle you because you are on another level so before you get married to a white man please you should know your rights and another thing please please research there is a video i did i talked of this research of the country you are going to research about women's rights especially the foreign women in that country if you get married what are your rights if anything happens what are your rights what will be of you it's very very important we are not in the era whereby people used to get married like someone has blindfolded them no there is internet every information that you want you will find it without even paying you get information for free so find the information don't get married like someone blindfolded you and then you wake up everything is new to you everything is strange to you everything you're like oh my god i wish i knew oh my god why is this all happening oh my god i wish i could have you know researched before i got married no do it now before you get married because if you get married to this guy without knowing anything and he comes to know that you don't know anything <laughs> you are finished dear sister you know as black women including me before i got married to a white man before i even thought of getting married to a white man the assumptions that i had <laughs> i know you too maybe you have them that white men are honest white men are so romantic white men are rich <laughs> if you live in europe you know there's no mosquitoes <laughs> they exist guys there is mosquitoes in europe <laughs> no flies exist flies <laughs> in europe 
Europe. So those are some of the assumptions that black people, black women can have. So white men too have got their own assumptions about black women. <laughs> It's very very funny guys very funny but it's the truth bare truth they've got their own assumptions that black women are very soft black women are so quiet with a black woman you can treat her the way you want you can step on her you can slap her and she'll never be able to respond to you back black women are ignorant they have those assumptions excuse me guys not all white men because exist white men that treat black women or that see black women as any other woman of any color yes exist these white men but if you come across a white man that have got these assumptions i'm telling you dear beautiful sister you need to show him that those are only assumptions i'm not like that <laughs> And if you show him that those are only assumptions, this guy is going to respect you. This guy is going to treat you good, treat you like any other human being, treat you like any other woman of any color. So you should be able to show this white guy that you can't just step on me. I know my rights. I know what I'm doing. I know who I am. I love myself and I know my dignity. Yes. You should let him know that those are only his own assumptions. I've talked of white guys who are racist, but they go to an extent of dating black women so that they can practice racism on these black women. So be very careful. Show the guy that you can't step on me. Yes, I'm black, but I can stand on my own. Yes, I'm black. I know my rights. Yes, I am black, but I'm intelligent. It will help you very, very much before you get married. And that's when the guy will run. If the guy is bad, if he was just a racist, he will know that, no, I can't just step on this black lady. Important thing number four that you should be very, very careful about before you get married to a white man, especially black women that are interested in white men, getting married to a white man i'm going to imagine and i know from this <laughs> some white men that are watching this will call me a gold digger but it's not all about being a gold digger and i will explain to you why so we imagine because i want to imagine so that we can see their real situation so that i can bring you to the real situation that is why i imagine so we imagine you are a black woman maybe in cameroon and you have got your own job like i said look for a job work or do some business even if it's a small business so that you can be independent so you have something you're doing in life you are happy with your life where you are you are only missing that man to be by your side that is why you're searching <laughs> yeah so you start searching and you come across a guy on online dating apps or even in real life you start dating everything goes well the guy is sweet treats you good talks of serious plans which is you start planning to get married before you get married here in europe we imagine a guy is an european guy because i'm going to talk of europe this is where i am i am in italy so you guys start planning to get married and before you get married there is an agreement of the properties that you need to agree on before you get married so you are going to be coming from africa to europe you leave your job, you leave everything that you have and some men, some of these white men, they will marry you and tell you, you are not going to work. You are going to just stay at home, have kids and take care of our kids and me, the husband. <laughs> yeah. All others can tell you, yes, we are going to get married and of course you will work if you want to work. It's okay. But what I want to tell you about this thing, if you're going to work, 
you are not going to work immediately you go to a foreign country and then after three months or after six months you have a job especially if this foreign country doesn't speak your language maybe you come from an English speaking country and you come to find that the country speaks Germany so you won't be able to find a job immediately you should know this and if you get pregnant girl you will have to stay at home until that kid grows go to school and then you are able to look for a job so you should know this too it's not that you get a job maybe if it's the country like uk whereby they speak english and if you speak english it can be a bit easy for you to find a job but if it is an european country they don't speak english be aware that it will take you time before you find a job even uk if you get married to this guy and then you get pregnant soon before you get a job you will have to stay at home take care of that kid until the kid grows go to school you are able to look for a job because housemates are so expensive in europe paying them it's so so expensive so guys about the agreement because that is where i am heading which is very very important you understand i'm going to explain a little bit about the agreements and i'm going to be explaining of these two agreements actually it's called prenup agreement okay so one of the agreement is separation of goods and the second agreement is communion of good or community of goods you really need to understand these two prenup agreement because they are very very important don't be lied and sign something that is wrong because if things go wrong you will regret your life is ruined i'll start with number one which is the separation of goods so you come from africa you've left everything there your job you resign you don't have anything left for you in africa and you join this man you get married things don't go well if you sign the separation of goods it means that if you guys divorce maybe things don't go well the guy starts being abusive to you and you have to divorce or the guy just tells you i'm tired of you i just want to divorce you if you sign the separation of goods it means that you are going to go back to your home country just like the way you came this guy is not going to give you anything because you signed the separation of goods whereby his things his properties are his and yours are yours <laughs> yeah so you're going to leave him with his properties and remain as you are <laughs> if you left everything you married this guy you became a stay-at-home mom because <laughs> he told you you can't work and then when you divorce you can't get anything is your life not ruined where is your security so don't you ever be deceived to sign this agreement i know most white men that are watching this they will say that i am a gold digger i'm advising ladies badly but it's not about being a gold digger it's about a woman's security you can't just keep me home i cannot work i can't do anything <laughs> then you treat me bad because i know i know guys because i know these white men they will tell you to sign the separation of goods his things are his things yours are yours and they will treat you like a trash most of them and you know why they will treat you like a trash because they've got nothing to lose what will cost them it is just that divorce and if you don't have a kid with him finished 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 you are done your life is ruined already if a guy wants to marry you and when it comes to that agreement he starts telling you we are going to sign a separation of goods his things are his things yours are yours i'm telling you don't get married to that guy if you are a black woman and you're coming from africa note that you've been in europe for years you have your own things you have your own job your own properties no and guys it's not that you want his properties no 
no <laughs> if you're saying that it's your security even how the guy treats you he's gonna treat you with respect some people are scared to lose their properties so he can't just you know play around you beat you all the time step on you all the time because you will have your voice <laughs> you are doing all this to me i want a divorce they will be like oh my god i'm going to lose my properties because <laughs> you will have to share <laughs> The second one is communion of goods, which means that his properties, your properties, they are for the both of you. If you're going to divorce, those properties will be divided into two. He will get 50 share, you will get 50 share. So if you have properties in Africa, you have your car, you have maybe money in your bank account, and he has his properties, he has houses, he has you know money in the bank account, all that will be divided into two if you guys are going to divorce. You will see if there is genuine love or not and you guys are going to treat each other in a respectful way. It's better that way guys, it's better. I've seen the worst happening to ladies that have signed the separation of goods and they were telling me the reason to do that is that they wanted to show the guys that I love you for who you are. I don't like your properties. I don't want you to see me as a gold digger. You get me? But what happened <laughs> after getting married, these guys start treating these ladies like trash. All the time, I'm going to return you to Africa. All the time, I'm going to give you a divorce. Of course, he'll tell you that way because he's not going to lose anything if he divorces you. So be very careful. But again, everything is in your hands. What I do is I give you the information. Go and read more of this so that you can be well prepared. But you should be very, very careful about this. Thing number five that you should be careful about before you get married to a white guy is not forgetting about yourself i told you find yourself if you have not found yourself yet so don't forget about yourself just because you're going to get married to a white guy don't forget about yourself just because you're chatting to a white guy and you want to please him so everything is about him not about you not about what you want as a woman remember even if you get married that you will always be there as a woman as a girl child you should always take care of yourself you should always think about yourself because you should start thinking about yourself loving yourself before you love others never forget about yourself and sacrifice everything that you want in life just because of a white man no always remember about yourself always think about yourself as a woman i'm telling you guys you need security like i said don't accept a guy to keep you at home and then again make you sign an agreement whereby when he leaves you you will remain with nothing nowhere to go where will you go sleep in the streets whereby you wasted all those years staying with a guy hell no you are in a foreign country another continent you should always think about yourself first that is why when chatting tell a guy that when we get married i want to work he should know that don't keep quiet don't be scared to ask questions if things are not going well tell the guy tell him don't be like oh my god what will he think of me i'm scared to ask this he will get upset no no dear beautiful ladies that is not how you will stand on your grounds <laughs> no it's not that you're disrespecting the guy it's not that you have a hard character no it is being a woman that understands herself that understands her own rights that loves herself so that she can love others yes <laughs> don't you ever let someone tell you that when you love yourself that means that you are selfish that is not being selfish because at the end of the day it all starts with you and then others so please don't you ever forget about yourself this is from your sister who loves you very very much 
who wants the best for you so dear beautiful ladies i really hope this video has changed something in your life today in a positive way and if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it to the friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video watch my other videos too they are super good you will learn a lot of things subscribe please if you have not subscribed until next time i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.